Hello students, welcome back. Let's take up the next question which is a sample paper question for 2025. This question is a 5 mark question and the question is as shown in the figure A and B are two lamps. Lamp A is rated at 12 volt, 24 watt. Lamp B is rated at 6 volt. When lamp B operates at its rated voltage, the current in it is 3 ampere. The values of R1 and R2 are chosen so that both lamps operated at their rated voltages. Based on the information given, answer the following. The current in lamp A, state and give reason for the reading of the voltmeter, calculate the resistance of R2 and find the value of resistance R1. So here we have a circuit diagram in which there are two lamps A and B which are connected in parallel with another resistor R2 in series with lamp B. Now these all are connected in series with resistance R1. So the main supply voltage is 15 volt and the lamp A is rated at 12 volt 24 watt. So this one is 12 volt and its power is 24 watt. The current in lamp B is given as 3 ampere. The potential difference across B is given as 6 volt. Using these data we have to solve this question. So the first question is we have to calculate the current in lamp A. So this is lamp A. We have to find out the current in lamp A. Now the power rating is given as 24 watt and the potential difference is given as 12 volt. Now using the formula power is equal to voltage into current we can find out the value of current as P by V that is 24 by 12 that is 2 ampere. So the current in lamp A is 2 ampere. So this is the solution to the first question that I A is 2 ampere. Now let's solve the second bit question. The second bit question asks what will be the voltmeter reading of this voltmeter and we have to give the reason for it. Now let us simplify this circuit diagram and make it simpler to understand. Now as you can see in the simplified diagram this is lamp A this is lamp B and lamp B is connected with resistor R2 in series with it and here is the voltmeter which is connected. So in this simplified diagram let's say these two points are X and Y. The lamp A and B are parallel and in a parallel circuit the potential difference across the branches remains the same. So the potential difference between X and Y will remain the same that is 12 volt. So the voltmeter reading over here is 12 volt. So we can write voltmeter reading is 12 volt because lamp A and lamp B are parallel to each other and in a parallel circuit the potential difference across the circuit remains the same. So the potential difference across A will be equal to the potential difference across B that will be 12 volt. So this is the second answer. Now let's solve the third bit. In the third bit we are asked to calculate the resistance of the resistor R2. So we have to find out this value the resistance value of R2. Now we know that the potential difference across R2 plus the potential difference across B is 12 volt. Okay so this should be 12 volt. Alright so this is 12 volt. Now it's given that the lamp is rated at 6 volt. So the potential difference across B will be 6 volt. So we write here but the potential difference across B is 6 volt which is given in the question here. Therefore the potential difference across R2 will be this total 12 volt minus 6 volt. So it will be 12 volt minus 6 volt that is 6 volt. So the potential difference across R2 is 6 volt. Now it is given that the current through B is 3 ampere that is through this the current through B is 3 ampere. Now the same current flows through R2 because lamp B and R2 are in series with each other. So let's write that current through B is 3 ampere which also should be the current through the resistor R2 that is 3 ampere because they are in series and in a series same current flows through each of the resistors. So now that we have the potential difference and we have the current we can find out the resistance value. 
Therefore, using Ohm's law, V is equal to I R. So, R will be V by I that is 6 volt by 3 ampere that is 2 ohm. Therefore, the value of resistance R2 is 2 ohm. So, this is the answer to the third bit. Now, let's solve the fourth bit that is find the value of resistance R1. Now, in the fourth bit, we are asked to find out the value of the resistance R1. That is what will be the value of this resistance. Now, we can see in the circuit diagram that a certain amount of current flows in the circuit. From here, it branches into two parts and then it recombines at this point and it passes through R1. So, the amount of current flowing through the resistor R1 will be equal to the sum total of the current that is flowing through lamp A and lamp B and R2, right? Now, the current through the lamp A is 2 ampere that we have found out in the first question, this one. Current through lamp A is 2 ampere and the current through lamp B is 3 ampere that is given in the question. So, I B is 3 ampere that is given in the question. So, the current through R1 will be the sum total of the current flowing in both these branches. So, lamp A is 2 ampere and current through B is 3 ampere which makes it a total of 5 ampere. Therefore, the current through the resistor R1 is 5 ampere. Now, we need to find out the value of the resistance. So, now in order to find out the value of the resistance R1, let us simplify this circuit diagram further. That is, let us represent this branch with x. So, this x is the branched part of this circuit and then here we have R1 and this is the source of potential 15 volt. Now, this is the source of potential that is 15 volt. Now, we have already found out that the potential difference across lamp A and B is 12 volt. So, this is 12 volt. Now, the supply voltage is 15 volt. Now, if 12 volt is the potential difference across X, that is this branched part, then the potential difference across R1 will be the difference of these two voltages. So, it should be 15 minus 12, that is 3 volt. Alright? So, we can write here the potential difference across R1 is 15 volt minus 12 volt that is 3 volt. Now we have found out the potential difference across R1. We have the current flowing through R1. So let's find out the value of the resistance that is from Ohm's law V is equal to IR. So resistance R1 will be V by I that is 3 volt by 5 ampere which is 0 0.6 ohm. So, we found out that the value of this resistor R1 is 0 0.6 ohm. So, this is the final answer that the resistance R1 is of 0 0.6 ohm. So, with that we come to the end of this video. I hope you have understood the solution to this question. If this video was helpful to you, please do like this video, share it with your friends and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching. Please watch the playlist containing the solved physics questions and numericals from the previous year's board exams. I have shared the link of the playlist in the description box. It will be very helpful to you while preparing for your exams.